In this video, you're going to learn how to write the equation of a parabola when you're given the focus and the vertex. We're going to go through four examples together so you'll get a good feel of how to do this. And we're also going to talk about how to graph these parabolas. So the first thing we want to go through is kind of just the basic form of the parabola when you're using the focus and the vertex. And you want to pay attention to whether the parabola is opening up or down. If it opens up or down, it's going to be in this form, x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. Notice it's the x squared that's, uh, the x term that's squared when it opens up or down. If it opens to the right or the left, it's going to be the y squared that's termed, uh, y term that's squared. So y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. And keep in mind with these parabolas, the distance from the vertex to the focus, we call that distance p. The distance from the vertex to the directrix, that is also the same distance of p. And at the level of the focus, the parabola is going to be 4p wide. Of course, the parabola keeps getting wider as it goes out. But basically what a parabola is, if you pick a point on that parabola, the distance to the focus and the perpendicular distance to the directrix, those distances are always going to be congruent or the same. And so that's, that's the idea. But the first thing you want to figure out is which direction is the parabola opening. So what I like to do is draw a little sketch. So if they say the vertex is at 2, negative 1, and the focus is at 0, negative 1, I know that the parabola always opens towards the focus, okay, and away from the directrix. So in this case, the parabola is going to be opening here to the left. So I'm just, I'm just going to draw like a rough sketch. It should look something like this, okay? So that means that this is going to be a y squared type since it opens uh, to the left like that. And the p is the distance here from the vertex to the focus. That distance is 2. So I'm going to be working with this form right here. Let's write it down. We've got y minus k squared equals 4px minus h. The h comma k are the coordinates of the vertex. So this is like your h and k. So it's going to be y minus negative 1, which is like y plus 1, squared, equals 4p times x minus h, which h is 2. And then 4 times this distance p, which is 2, the distance from the vertex to the focus, is 4 times 2, which is 8. When it opens to the left, this is going to be negative. If it opens to the right, it's going to be positive. So let's write that down here. So opening right is positive, left is negative, up is positive, down is negative. So you can kind of keep that in mind. So this is our equation. Now as far as the graph is concerned, at the level of the focus, it's going to be 4p wide. It's going to be 8 wide. So what I can do from this focus, I can go up 4 and down 4. So I see how I cut that in half. That gives me a width of 8. So that gives us an idea about how wide this parabola is at the level of the focus. Okay, so this is called a focal chord. It's the lattice rectum, and that gives you an idea of the width. So let's look at another example, number two. See here the vertex is at negative 3, 2. Okay, right here. The focus is at negative 3, 3. Again, the parabola is going to open from the vertex towards the focus. Okay, so towards the focus is like a satellite dish, right? And so that means it's going to look something like this. Now when it opens up or down, it's the x that's squared. So this is going to be in the form x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k. Let's go ahead and put in what we know. So the h and k, those are the coordinates of the vertex. So x minus negative 3 is like x plus 3. Two negatives cancel. y minus 2. And then the p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. That's one unit. So 4 times 1 is going to give us 4. Now that's the standard form here of our parabola. If we want to graph it, remember, at the level of the focus, it's 4p wide. So 4p is 4. If I cut that in half, I'm going to go from the focus 2 to the right and 2 to the left. That gives us a couple more easy to identify points on our graph and it gives us an idea about how wide it is. Now, if we wanted to graph the directrix, see how this distance is 1 to the focus? We could go down 1. That's going to be the equation of our directrix right there, y equals 1. Same thing over here. If this distance is 2, if we go to the other side of the vertex, there's our directrix right there. That's going to be at x equals 4. Let's take a look at two more examples. Okay, see if you can do number 3 and 4 on your own. So we've got, for number 3, we've got the vertex at negative 2, negative 4. The focus is at 1, negative 4. Which way do you think the parabola is opening? Up, 
down, uh, right, or left. Well, remember, it always opens from the vertex towards the focus, so this parabola should be opening to the right. Remember, if it opens right or left, that we're dealing with a y squared type. So this is going to be in this form right here, y minus k, the quantity squared, equals 4p times x minus h. Remember, h comma k is the vertex. So it's going to be y minus negative 4, which is like y plus 4, and x minus negative 2, which is like x plus 2. And remember, p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So in this case, it's 1, 2, 3 units. 4 times 3 is 12. Remember, if it opens to the right, this is going to be positive. If it opens to the left, this is going to be negative. So this is our standard form of the equation of our parabola. Now, if we want to get a good sketch, Remember, at the level of the focus, right here, this is the lattice rectum, this is a focal chord, it's always going to be 4 times this distance p. We know that uh, 4p here is 12, so from the focus I'm going to go half of 12, which is up 6 and down 6. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's a point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's a point. And I'm just going to draw a rough sketch here. You can find the y-intercepts by setting x uh, equal to 0 and solving for these y-intercepts, but for now I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. And that's a rough sketch of your graph. Now notice that the distance from the vertex to the focus, that was 3. If I go the other direction, that uh, 3 units, that's going to be our director. So that's going to be at x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5. Let's look at number 4. What do you think for this one? Well, we've got our vertex at the origin, 0, 0. Our focus is at 0, negative 5. 3 halves, or negative 1 and a half. Remember, which way does this uh, parabola open? Does it open up, or down, or left, or right? Well, remember, it opens towards the focus, away from the directrix. This one's going to be opening down, something like this. Okay, so that means it's going to be uh, up or down is going to be an x squared type. So it's going to be in this form, x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k. And we've got our vertex here, h comma k, that's at the origin, so x minus 0 squared is just x squared, y minus 0 is just going to be y. Now p is the distance from the vertex to the focus, that's 3 over 2. 4 times 3 over 2 is 12 over 2, which is 6, but remember when this opens down it's going to be negative, so this is a negative 6. And that's the standard form of the equation of your parabola. Now if you want to get a good sketch, remember at the level of the focus it's 4p wide, 4 times 3 halves we said was 6, so if I cut that in half, 1, 2, 3 to the right, 1, 2, 3 to the left, that gives us a width of 6, or 4p. That gives us an idea about how wide our parabola is at the level of the focus. Again, if we want to find the directrix, if this distance is 1 and a half, I can go the other side of the vertex, 1 and a half, that's the line y equals 1 and a half, and we have a pretty good sketch of our graph. So, Great job if you were able to follow this uh, video. I've got a whole series that I'm doing where they give you different parts. Or maybe they give you the directrix, maybe they give you a point, maybe they give you an axis of symmetry, some different uh, information that you're given. So I'll put another video that I did right there talking about parabolas. Follow me over there and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you there.